All right, in the last video, we got a chance to create a test user account as an admin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to log in with that test user account and then install your Office 365 client applications. Previously, when we created the account, the account owner will receive an email with their credentials on it. Let's go ahead and retrieve that email. Okay, so in the email, you'll see, you know, account has been created, right? So this is what the user will get. And um, you basically, you have their new account and you have their password here. So as a new user, I would simply go to the same portal, office.com. We'll go ahead and sign in. That was test account at pjpros.com and select next. Now, more than likely, if you're not working for an organization, you're probably using a general email, which will be at outlook.com. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password, my temporary password. Let's select sign in. And here I'm prompted to change my password. And if you don't have a PJ Pros account, you're not gonna get this type of background. You probably get the generic background. We just customized ours. Now I'm gonna type in a new password because I am now acting as the new user. And we'll select sign in. Um, do you wanna stay sign in? Yes or no? I'll say yes, this is my personal machine. All right, and just click right through these. And we've got our Office 365 um, dashboard here. Okay, as you can see, we have our Outlook uh, OneDrive, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, SharePoint, Teams. Um, these are the tools that I would like to tell you guys a little bit about in the videos to come. All right, so in order to install, you simply select this drop down and you say Office 365 application. And you'll see that download right there, the executable. Let's go ahead and open that and we're going to run it. All right, we are all set. Office is now installed on our machine. Go ahead and click close. Close that out. And we have Office client installed. So we'll look at, like, if you want to look up Outlook. Outlook's right there. You got your Word. You got your Excel. It's all there, okay? So all the tools have been downloaded, except for Teams. Uh, we can do that by simply opening a new tab and type download Microsoft Teams desktop. And you can go ahead and click on this link right here, teams.microsoft.com forward slash downloads, and then we'll select download Teams. And let's run it. Okay, and then from there, we just simply type in our username and sign in. And type in our password. All right, we're all set with Teams. So you've seen us install the Microsoft Office 365 application, which include Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, um, Access, um, Publisher, Outlook, Skype, and OneDrive. And we also install Teams. You've installed the client apps locally on your computer, but please note that you can also access the same application via the web browser.
I think it's important for you to understand the difference between a web application and the client application. So we'll go over that in the next video. Stay tuned.